Back home and locals fear a city parkland's booze ban to combat bad behaviour and drunken violence doesn't go far enough. Reporter Will McDonald joins us now live from the South Parklands. Will, opinions on the dry zone plan remain divided? Yeah, absolutely, Kate. Authorities have been debating for quite some time the best way to stop the violence and general offensive behaviour that has come from large groups drinking in the South Parklands. Even late today, police were called to a disturbance believed to have been caused by a number of intoxicated people, and that's become a regular occurrence as residents in the area raise fears about their safety. Now, also, the, as it stands, the law doesn't, uh, does allow drinking in the parklands at the moment. The City Council recently pushed for a 24-hour dry zone for this particular part of the city. But that idea had to be abandoned after being told it would not get the final approval from the state government following concerns from a range of organisations including police, welfare providers and drug and alcohol services. They fear it would just shift the problem elsewhere. As a compromise the council wants a dry zone from 8pm in the evening to 1pm in the afternoon covering all parklands in the city fringe. Now some residents aren't convinced and don't believe it will stop the often violent and noisy gatherings. I think it will help to actually demonstrate that even a partial ban um, won't be good enough and uh, if we still have all the same problems it will force the government into action. It's a complex problem, we're going to have to work through that very flexibly, work with the community, work with SAPOL. Late today, around 50 residents attended a public meeting. Many were angry about the lack of action over many years, but the Assistant Police Commissioner promised quicker responses by patrols. We've had operations in those areas for about the last three months consistently, but I think we can do better. Now it's likely to be around four weeks before the state government approves this latest dry zone plan. Back to the studio.